So welcome to another video. Uh, we're gonna go, there's me, Greg, Sarah and Richie. We're just gonna have like a day, maybe a day's ride. Um, we are in Wales, just to go off road, camp, nothing big, no big miles, yeah. just so for the fun of being out doors and sleeping in a tent. Honestly, this tent, they were just saying to me like, are you now questioning why you have a bivvy? And I'm like, yes, this is like, this feels proper luxury. What you doing out there, boys? Do a little dance. Oh shit, I think my pillow's got a hole in it. It keeps going down. I like the one short leg up and one short leg down. <laughs> Good morning. We had a very lovely leisurely get up. Now we're on the road. So yeah, we're gonna be doing, I think we're just gonna do one day of the Trans-Cambrian Way, which is like a beautiful off-road, rocky, gravelly. God, that's a good start. <laughs> We're literally probably a kilometre in. And it's, I'm so sweaty already. We've got gates and really steep hills and we're pushing. So we'll just see how this pans out. We missed the turn. On the bottom of a hill. And Greg was like, 50k is not going to take long at all. It's, um, it flat. Kate, it's fine to flatten out when we're on the, actually on the. Kate, Katie's fan road like You are. <laughs> <laughs> that was one time. This isn't even the top. Good. Who's idea with this? I've never been so excited to see clouds in all my life. It is beautiful. So yeah, this is, I don't really know where we are to be honest, just part of the Trans-Cambrian Way. Uh, I guess we're Cambrian Hills. Um, so we've just come down, oh God, that first climb. We've just seen like a mountain bike tour guide. And I was like, is that, is that gonna be the steepest? It's like, yeah, the first one is an absolute brute to get you into it. So now it's gonna be a little bit more rolling, I, I think, I think. What do you think to it? Good fan, I like this bit better then. <laughs> In the in the climb. <laughs> just, I mean, this bike's just a, a hero. When did you buy it? Um, Thursday, was it? <laughs> Wednesday. When did you first yeah. ride in it? Wednesday. Uh, about an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> look where I am, like, look at this. This makes me so, so, so happy. I just, oh. I love it. I think it's, do you know what? I think it's so important to do different types of riding and it's not always about doing like a 600k ride or smashing up a climb or like this for me, I'm not great at this, but I absolutely love it. It just it's like in the middle of hills and countryside and oh, I just feel so happy with my friends. And I get to ride this bike. I love this bike. I'll show you the, um, the setup of it in a little bit because it's a little bit new. It's not, I've not had it before, so I packed all my stuff on. Oh my God, look at these horses. Literally just run straight across there. They're beautiful. Hey. What are you doing? Is that my chin? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Whole beans. That's wild, isn't it? You know we got a stone. We've found some premier ends at a reasonable price. Yeah. And then we've found a route between them. I think so. What about premier inns? And Greg has stayed a nice one. Like, obviously we like camping, but premier inns are like proper luxury. Honestly, I love a premier inn. I'm just saying that like Sarah's like, we should just do a Premier Inn like tour, find the nicest Premier Inns in like England or the UK and then just go and Premier Inn hop. I'd be up for that. Not, not and they like, let you take your bike like And they'll, this is, exactly. Come on, look at him, he took his little ultras off. I don't want to get my ultras wet. Look at this, what is this dance? 
This is so nice. It's got hot, but oh, it is so good. What number gate would you say this is? There are so many gates on this route. <laughs> Three of us to shut a gate. You're like bloody Chuckle Brothers, you bear with that gate. <laughs> this is really tickled me. If your dog goes to the loo, get a stick and flick. It's what we'd like you to do. <laughs> <laughs> so don't take it home with you, just flick it into the field. <laughs> Cycling buddy goes to the toilet. Same thing. Do That's exactly it. the same thing. I mean, or just put it in a bin in Exeter, you know, same yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> We've barely seen any cars. We've just, oh, it's just been so much fun. And there's not really been that much that we couldn't ride. I thought it was going to be a lot more technical than it was. Uh, this is only the first day, so we'll see how we get on. You <laughs> <laughs> see, this is, this is why I've packed mine differently to that. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want to pack your <laughs> pack your tent and a little stuff a little bit easier, I'll show you my setup. Here we have da 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 tail fin. I absolutely love these things. It is awesome. So here we've got obviously the seat pack, which is like 20 liters worth of stuff, and then we've got these little side mounts and basically what I've got in, I've got my um, tent in one, actually I think my tent is this one, and then I've also got my sleeping bag and sleeping mat in this one, and then I just hooked on with these straps. So because this is off-road, and when you've got like really heavy seat packs and stuff, it can affect like handling, I found it like affects handling, so having something that's like a rigid seat pack like this doesn't really affect it, and so what I've done is I've put the light stuff on either side, like the big bulky stuff, and then like my heavier stuff in the, the middle bit so that it's kind of central and I'm so impressed with it because we've gone over some really rocky stuff today so it's gone pretty well. So all I do then is I just unclip that, pull that out and then not very easily done with one hand but yeah so that's that. Sleeping bag in that one, sleeping mat there. And my tent's in this one. But it's rigid, you can get, I think it's nine kilos in the top bit. And I think if it's on road, cause these are the, the cargo mounts. So you can get, I think it's three kilograms on each side if it's off road and four and a half each side if it's on road. Um, because it's been off road, three and a half, but you don't, because these weigh nothing. So if I just basically put my big light bulky stuff on the sides, cause otherwise it's taking all that space there. So yeah, that's the, Aero pack alloy and they are the cargo mounts. And then you've got that which is detachable and I actually think that that is a bottle opener so if you like your beers after a ride you can use it as a bottle opener um, but you can take that off so it's just so if you've got something longer that you want to fit on like um, a bivy or something you can actually take that off. Oh my other junk. Sweeties obviously. This guy, absolute lifesaver. So basically, um, Greg and Sarah have come out on like, well, Greg's bought a mountain bike for it. And Sarah's got like a, an older hybrid. And as we've been riding, it, it wouldn't shift gear. And we think the gear cable's gonna snap. And we saw some other mountain bikers and we're like, can we, um, we basically said, do you know if there's any bike shops anyway? We're trying to find a bike shop to buy a gear cable. We should have one. This is my lesson. I should carry one. We should all carry one. And. Um, this guy, thank you, see you later. And this, like we saw, there's all these mountain bikers. There was a bike shop here, but it closed at half five. We've come into the campsite, we've seen the group again, and they said, Oh, do you still need that gear cable? And we're like, Yes, why? And they're like, We went to a, we came past, saw a bike shop, was still open, so they got here a lot early before us. 
and they bought us one. Is that not just the kindest, kindest thing ever? Love it. I'm so great. So thank you very much, Toby. That is very... How nice is that? Really nice. It's just the kindest, kindest thing. Woohoo! Gaffer tape them. Oh. So yeah, it's been a really nice day. It is potentially meant to forecast maybe rain in the morning, so we're going to see what we're going to do tomorrow. So, what are you, what are you taking your bike? It's not 100k, it's not really down the bike. <laughs> Well, I don't have a pillow tonight, so my pillow broke, went down, and my light is currently my headlight hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> this is the life, eh? Right, see you next bit. There's a big piece of shit there, and all. Although I hope I'm not cold in it. I don't want to end up in toilets again. You missed all the